More information is coming in as to the nature of the explosion at the Lee Police Station yesterday morning. Numerous police officers are reported dead, with many more sustaining life-threatening injuries. One such person who escaped the blast with only cuts and bruises was Detective Jacqueline Exley. Witnesses claim a young man in his late teens, early twenties was seen running away from the police building only moments before it exploded. Police have, in, have yet to release any further details. The suspicions are growing that they believe this explosion is linked to the burning down of Benedict's warehouse four nights ago, from which three badly burnt corpses were retrieved. Did you say you met a mysterious man that morning? Well, my contract had expired that morning. Um, I had other things on my mind. I wasn't too bothered about Luke Crow. Luke Crow? Hi, I'm Luke Crow. Yeah, he seemed a nice fella at first. But then I found that he was only there for one thing, which was the files on Bixie Brooks. Well, would you look at this? What? Take three guesses who was Bixby's cellmate during his stay in prison. Who? A certain Mr. Robert Damon. What? Oh. See, now Damon was a, a well-known arsonist and he killed a well-known mobster called Tony Ridley. And this is where my secretary came in and found a big piece of the jigsaw puzzle. Scott Ridley, Tony Ridley's brother, fell into the witness protection program and said that years beforehand that his brother was pressuring him into the mob and he had to shag a prostitute. However, his brother and his friends wanted a piece of the action and but the girls wouldn't have any of it and so they ended up dead. So Bixby on the prostitution rackets of the city? Well exactly, he wasn't too happy that his uh, favourite girl all of a sudden died so he stopped sending the mob pleasure of his variety. The mob were pissed at him and war broke out between the two parties and before any violence occurred Bixby was apprehended and sentenced to five years. But his lawyer got him out early. Exactly. However, when Bixby returned to his old stomping ground, he found that the mob ruled everything. Uh, but one man couldn't take the mob on his own, so he needed some help. And that help came in the shape of Robert Damon. Up to this point, the only things I've ever heard about Bixby is silly rumours. Uh, things like, the only thing you've ever seen of him is his back, because by then he's been screwed and he's on his way. So you wouldn't know that he set fire to himself just to prove a point. It was about time some important information about Brooks, but my secretary interrupted us with some important information for me. Uh, we just received a, a fax from the law confirming the identities of three bodies that were pulled out of the uh, blaze three nights ago. Um, Scott Ridley, Robert Damon and the detective Luke Crow from the Lawton Street Division. Wait a minute. Jesus, Bixby, what took you so long? Them bars, man. The secretary took her time with him. 
Yeah, well, you took a bit of a long time. It's uh, raising a bit too much suspicion, don't you think? <laughs> they already suspect us of a lot of shit, Matt. Why do you just leave them in there? I mean, the bomb will finish them off anyway. No, man. This is the only evidence they have on me. I need to make sure these disappear. Well, personally, I think they would have been done in there. But never mind, it's set anyway. What's the time set to? Five minutes. Better get our asses in gear and go then. Better out. <laughs>